sunscreen. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It is the hardest skincare product to get just right. I mean, it goes so much further than just coverage and filters, right? We all have a long laundry list of needs and wants from our sunscreens. And getting every single thing that we want out of a sunscreen, finding the perfect sunscreen with zero compromises, well, that seems almost impossible, <laughs> doesn't it? It seems like a really, really hard feat. So give this video a big thumbs up because today I want to talk about a new sunscreen from Purito. This is the Centella Green Level Unscented Sunscreen. It is finally here and it is essential oil free. We are going to be talking about the ingredients. I'm also going to talk about the differences between the new unscented version and the original Centella sunscreen because spoiler alert, there are some differences. And we're gonna decide, is this truly a no compromise sunscreen for you? So much like the original Centella sunscreen from Purito, this sunscreen claims to use mild and safe ingredients that are all rated at the green level on the EWG scale. This sunscreen by Purito also claims to kind of avoid the traditional drawbacks of chemical sunscreens like skin irritation and eye irritation, all doing this while being completely fragrance and essential oil free. Now, let me just talk about that EWG scale for just a moment because that's not really, let's just start with the fact that it's really more of a rating for the safety level of ingredients being used in cosmetics, not necessarily the potential irritation level of ingredients in cosmetics. So it is definitely a place to start when you're looking for safe ingredients, but it's not an indicator of how that ingredient is going to work for your skin. So I really just say like take that with a grain of salt and definitely do a little bit more research into your ingredients. Don't just rely on that EWG scale alone. This is a chemical sunscreen and it's rated SPF 50 with a PA of plus four. Now this uses new generation chemical filters and basically what that means is they are new and improved, right? They have been developed to be more photostable and also to have less potential to irritate your skin. So the particular filter being used here are exactly the same as the Purito Centella scented version, the original sunscreen. So those filters are Uvinyl A+. That gives you the UVA protection and is well known for being highly photostable. This also uses Uvinyl T150. Now this gives us the UVB protection and this particular filter, Uvinyl T150, is actually well known for having one of the highest photostability absorption rates of any UVB filter available on the market today. So Purito easily could have gone back to their formulation when they decided to make a non-essential oil sunscreen and just said, take out the essential oils. The old sunscreen used chamomile oil as well as lavender oil. And they easily could have said just, leave those two out and go forward with the, the original formula, right? But Purito, it, they definitely took the opportunity here to improve and tweak the formula. So there are some differences here between the original Centella scented sunscreen and this new unscented version. And the biggest, the biggest, and maybe the most exciting difference is the new unscented sunscreen has more Centella, that's right, more Sika. Who doesn't want more Sika, right? So uh, the old uh, sunscreen, the scented version, I'm gonna get confused between the new and the old and the scented and the unscented. All right, so the original Centella Green Level Safe Sun had Centella extract in it. Now we do still have Centella extract in the new unscented sunscreen, but we also have matacasicide, we also have asiaticide, we also have matacasic acid, and we also have asiatic acid. So all four of the isolated compounds found within Centella are added in addition to the Centella extract. So what does that mean? That means more hydrating, more soothing, more collagen stimulation, and probably the most exciting thing to find in a sunscreen, more antioxidants. Centella has antioxidant um, capabilities and mixing your antioxidants with your UV filters is actually going to give you even more protection from UV damage. 
super exciting. Now, the original Centella uh, sunscreen. This one has, you know, obviously we've got Centella, we've got antioxidants, and it also had a vitamin E in it. So this definitely has antioxidant protection. Now the new one, we've got more Centella, so you would think in theory we would have more antioxidants. So we've got more Centella, we've also got vitamin E, which is found in the original, plus we have an additional antioxidant ingredient, which is so hard to say, it is such a long name, so laugh along with me as I try to pronounce this ingredient. Penta erythral tetra bi t butyl hydroxy hydrocinamate. And of course, there are no essential oils here, probably the biggest difference between the two and the one that matters the most to many of us, right? No essential oils, no fragrance in the new unscented sunscreen. Now, those of you who are fans of unfragranced products um, or non-essential oil products, you may be aware of the fact that unscented doesn't always mean no scent. That is often the driving force behind companies using essential oils or fragrance in the first place because raw skincare ingredients don't always smell good on their own. Unscented doesn't always mean no scent, right? So Purito definitely did have to tweak the formulation here. And you can see that um, when you look at the ingredients side by side, there are some differences. At the end of the day, pretty much all the same ingredients are here with the addition of the extra antioxidant. We also have the addition of more centella. Um, and we also do have the addition of one solvent ingredient, which makes sense because that might help um, to dissolve certain ingredients a little bit better. Uh, and it might help with scenting issues in the long run. But you can see that some things, percentages and things like that were probably tweaked in order to accommodate that scent. Because really the driving force behind brands using essential oils and fragrance is to cover up that raw skincare smell because it doesn't always smell that good, right? It can kind of get funky. But, but I was really surprised because the very first thing that I did when I got this was get really excited. Then the second thing that I did was put it on my hand, you know, testing the texture. And then I shoved my nose right up into my hand and I was like, you know, I was prepared and I was willing to make that compromise. If it smelled funky, I was going to be okay with it put it on my hand, stuck my nose in there, and I took a big breath in, and it's like, how does that smell like nothing? How are they able to do this? They did such a good job on the tweaking of the formulation, because at the end of the day, there's no scent here at all. I mean, I really couldn't pick up on anything, and the texture hasn't changed. The performance has not changed between the two sunscreens, which was like a shocker to me. So let's talk about that texture because it really is the same. It kind of comes out looking like a cream. You work it into your skin and it sort of like dissolves down. It kind of like becomes a very hydrating, almost gel-like texture, very, very hydrating um, on the skin. It becomes completely invisible, absolutely no white cast whatsoever. It has this really beautiful uh, neutral finish. Uh, I call it a neutral finish. It is neither matte nor dewy. It's not, it's not gonna take anything from your skin. It's not gonna control oil, but conversely, it's also not gonna add anything to your skin. It's not gonna make your skin look dewy or downright shiny, let's be honest. It just works with what you've already got going on with your skin. I just, I love the finish on the Purito sunscreens. Um, and this still preserves that natural sort of finish, that neutral sort of finish that I really um, enjoy joy. Now, if I had to get picky and put the textures side by side between these two, the unscented one, slightly thicker when it comes out of the bottle, slightly. I can't emphasize slightly enough. And in fact, I did have to put them on my hands side by side in order to confirm that feeling that I was getting when I first um, started to play around with the unscented sunscreen. I was like, is this thicker? The thing is, it is a little bit thicker when you look at it side by side when it first comes out of the bottle. But as I said, once you work it into your skin, it kind of like melts down into this really hydrating, very thin gel-like texture. And once you work them in, they become almost identical. So I wouldn't worry about that thickness too much, but if you really wanted to get picky and find a difference, that's the one that I would say it is slightly, slightly thicker. So what is my experience with this sunscreen? Well, I think you can tell I really, really like this. I'm very impressed with this. So let me give you a little background. Um, the two sunscreens I have been reaching for on a daily basis for my facial sunscreen are Claire Soft Dairy UV Essence and the original Centella Green 
level safe sun. These have just been on rotation, heavy rotation, pretty much all year year long. Um, I really, really enjoy these sunscreens for so many reasons. But as you may know, I have been journeying um, in my skincare journey, right? I have been journeying towards getting rid of essential oils completely out of my skincare routines. It's just really not the best ingredient for my sensitive skin. Whether I get symptoms from it or not, I would just prefer to not have them, right? It takes some of that paranoia um, out, of, out of the question for somebody like me who has had issues with certain products uh, with essential oils. So I have been um, working on that. It is a bit of a, a, a progress, right, to work through some of your old products and find, you know, new placements but at the end of the day it actually hasn't been all that difficult for me except for one like pain point that I've had in my routines about the whole essential oils thing sunscreen I cannot get rid of these sunscreens because I'm not willing to make the compromises of going back to sunscreens that are heavier that have a longer dry time you know these just work so well so when Purito uh, announced that they were going to make an essential oil-free version of one of my, I mean, let's face it, holy grail sunscreens, right? I was all on board, right? I was all on board. But you're never really sure, right, <laughs> how they're going to execute the product. I was not sure. So once I did get the product and I, I used it the first day, I was like, I'm in love. <laughs> I knew immediately as soon as I put it on my face. It smelled like nothing. It had the exact same texture. It is weightless. That is what I love about these Purito sunscreens. They are weightless. Lightweight is just not describing it well enough. It doesn't give it enough credit. It is lightweight. Um, it is weightless. It is weightless and it's invisible too. It's weightless on the skin. You don't feel it. It's not heavy. It's not oppressive. Honestly, if you're like one of those people who sometimes can't remember if they put on sunscreen or not, this may not be for you because he won't feel it on your skin. Um, you could easily forget you put it on, but um, jokes aside, right? Uh, this is an invisible sunscreen. There's no white cast. I've seen many bloggers with much darker skin tones absolutely rave about this. So I feel confident in saying no white cast whatsoever. No white cast, completely invisible. This works so well for reapplication too. You know, I actually, I, I shy away from saying no pilling because I mean, pilling is something that could be caused by skincare layers, right? There's a little bit of like user error involved when it comes to pilling, but this is this has such minimal pilling. I hardly experience pilling with this in all kinds of situations, even like layering it up multiple times. Very, very minimal pilling um, on reapplication. This works so well with makeup. I actually even, in fact, um, apply my makeup, reapply my sunscreen over my makeup, and this doesn't disturb that at all or, you know, make a weird color or anything. Love this. Love how this performs. You know, this for me, like, I mean, I don't want to, like, beat it with a, like, I don't want to beat it over the head here. Like, I've used the original sunscreen. This is so much like the original sunscreen. Few tweaks here and there with the reformulation, of course. A little bit more Centella, always good. But at the end of the day, it still performs exactly how I expected it to. But for me, this is a no compromise sunscreen. Like I said earlier in the video, I've made a lot of compromises for my sunscreens, whether it be uh, it includes uh, ingredients I don't like, like drying alcohols or essential oils, or maybe it has a long dry time before I can go in with my makeup or something like that. There's always a compromise. I really cannot fault this sunscreen for anything. I really cannot. No essential oils, no alcohol, no silicones. Um, it's really easy to wash off at the end of the day. It doesn't stick around or hang around on your skin. This feels com so comfortable. It's really easy to reapply. It's affordable. That was another compromise I was making with the Claire's. It's like $22. This retails for $14. This is so affordable. It's so within my budget. I feel comfortable with that price. I love this sunscreen and I really cannot fault it. I mean, if you guys have any faults with it, let me know in the comment box below. I'll be willing to listen and hear you out on that one. But for me, for me, this is perfect. This is perfect. And thank you, Purito, for listening to your customers and delivering a product that we have been praying for. So as I said, this does retail for $14 and you get 60 milliliters for that price. So I'm curious to know what sunscreen are you currently wearing right now? And let me know in the comment box below. Do you feel like you make compromises to wear that sunscreen? I definitely have in the past.
And big thumbs up if you guys love the new camera setup. Did you notice things are a lot clearer? I'm really excited to kind of level up and bring you guys some higher quality videos. So if you made it this far in this video, you absolutely love K-Beauty and you're not subscribed to my channel, like what are you doing? No, I'm just kidding. Please consider subscribing though if you're not already subscribed. I release two new K-Beauty focus videos every single week and don't forget to turn on those notifications so you never miss out when I upload the new video. All right, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I absolutely cannot wait to see you in the new video and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.